U.S. Ambassador Graham A. Martin was instructed to initiate and lead the evacuation of Americans from Saigon. The evacuation plan was known as Operation Frequent Win, which would involve the airlifting of thousands of Americans and South Vietnamese refugees from Saigon by helicopter. The original plan for fixed wing evacuation was slashed when North Vietnamese forces sprung a surprise attack at Tan Son at airport early in the morning of April 29, 1975. Martin was left to arrange the evacuation using frequent wind. The code signaling American evacuation was to be White Christmas, which would be played on the radio station continuously. Okay, remember, we're supposed to evacuate when the radio starts playing the song White Christmas, and tell them keep destroying as many of these classified documents as you can. Are you insane? He'll be killed under all that fire. Maybe you're right, but I have to check to make sure the airplanes are operational. Hey, you two. Can you take me to the tent on that? We'll go in my car. Here's the United States Ambassador Graham Martin. Who is in charge here? Ambassador Martin, what are you doing here? I came to see the airplane is fit for an evacuation of Saigon. Or not, why is it? Are you kidding? Some notch off South Vietnamese just decided it would be fun to crash land a plane on, on the runway. You can't get any plane off the ground in this mess. Is that so? I guess I have no choice. Send a word to Kissinger that I am activating Operation Freaking Wing. <laughs> like the one I used to know, where the tree drops listen, and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I believe it's my duty to safely protect those South Vietnamese citizens whose lives are in danger due to their history of communist opposition. Their lives are just as important as American lives. Don't be stupid, Martin. Forget about those damn Vietnamese. Our first priority is to make sure all American lives are safe. What, and the Vietnamese don't matter? We've messed up so much in their country already. It'd be an insult to abandon them and leave them in this mess we've created. I'm warning you, Martin. Your orders are to get all Americans out of Saigon by helicopter and then remove yourself from the city. You're wasting time by dealing with these Viet South Vietnamese. Sir, there are dozens of South Viet... morons. Mr. Martin. My name is Captain Jerry Berry. I have very explicit orders from Secretary of State Kissinger and President Ford to make sure you're on this helicopter and get you out of here. Are you coming? Yeah, yeah. I've already ordered the other helicopter to stop taking aboard South Vietnamese. I might as well come. Whatever you order me to. That's right. The South Vietnam government is now no more. 
You are to make an announcement saying, stating that the South Vietnamese government is now no more. Fine, fine. That's what you want me to do. Fellow citizens of the Republic of Vietnam, this is President Don Van Minh here to make an announcement. Our brothers in North Vietnam have now officially captured our city of Saigon. They have accepted my unconditional surrender of Saigon and South Vietnam. From now on, I declare the government of Saigon dissolved. Please surrender peacefully to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Saigon fell on April 29, 1975 and was officially surrendered April 30th. The city was renamed Ho Chi Minh City after the Vietnamese leader. The war-torn country was finally unified once more and despite the United States' best efforts, the determined North Vietnam prevailed. Although the evacuation was considered a success, the fall of Saigon marked the end of the Vietnam War. Thousands of Vietnamese refugees, many who faced persecution for resisting the communist government, fled Vietnam many taking shelter as new U.S. citizens. As for the United States, the country learned a powerful lesson, that it cannot dictate the fate of other countries.